Hey y'all, uh, what's up YouTube, what's up with my people, what's up with my folks, what's up with the guys, what's up with the gang, you know what I mean? I know I'm behind, I know it's time, but I've been told y'all what happened to the other Hellcats, man. So, the little story time, man, I know I'm I'm late, I've been told y'all I'd give it to y'all. Guess what? It's fucking snowing! So I'm gonna do a little POV drive, man. <clears throat> give y'all a little POV, what it'll look like here in the Midwest, you know what I mean? <laughs> Came back home to where it all happened, you know what I mean? So, go get y'all a tour of where all this stuff happened and how it happened, you know what I mean? Uh, and guess where we have to go? The motherfucking gas station, man. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. But as y'all can see, man, we are always loading fucking petroleum around here. I ain't do it on purpose, y'all. Yo, I mean, like, everybody was on my case here. Everybody was coming in and... DMing me and oh Jay, how you do this? I didn't do it on purpose, y'all. It, it didn't happen on purpose. <laughs> but look, all right. So the first situation when I first got it, man, I ain't gonna lie. It was it was just me not understanding the power, not knowing how to control it, and, and you feel me? Not not a hundred percent, but yeah, you feel me? And being unaware of the red key and the black key, you feel me? Like knowing I could have just took the black key. Not even had to worry about changing nothing in the um, in the settings, but man, if y'all know, y'all know, rain, snow, sleet, anything that's like kind of make the ground a little slippery, you gonna go sliding, man. It's gonna be like a pool <laughs> for sure. You know, I had one night, you know, right after getting it, I had the Hellcat. So y'all know the bitches was out. Y'all know <laughs> Hellcat. It's a T. I'm at a shorty crib. I'm finna leave because I don't really be trying to, I don't know about y'all. I don't be trying to spend a night at the at the shorty crib if I ain't really rocking with her like that. I mean, she was cool people. It was like, I have spent the night over there, but yeah, well, we wasn't on that vibe. You know what I mean? So, look, I try and jump up and leave because my brother had called me when I first got to her spot. So when he called me, he like, hey, bro, can you come grab me? I'm like, man, I, I fuck with you, but not right now. I'm busy. Feel me? I gotta, gotta get my rocks on. So, I tell bro, like, hey, man, I, feel me? Hit me later, whatever. We can rock. Because he wanted to kick with me anyway. I was in the city. So, my brother called me back at, like, 1, 2 in the morning. He like, hey, man, I'm in the car now. What you doing? I'm like, shit, I just got up. You feel me? I told you I was going to hit you when I got finished doing whatever what I was doing. Woo -woo. He like, all right, bet. So, he said, shit, I'm going to pull down on you. I'm like, oh, I bet. Say no more. That's even better then. So he tell me, black people shit, doing black people shit. He going to tell me, like, oh, yeah, I'm only around the corner. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I go start the car, go outside. Ten minutes go past. I don't see him. I don't know where he at. So I'm like, all right, brand new car. I'm feeling myself. Y'all don't even put my, my seatbelt on. I'm feeling myself. So I go ahead. And try and go jump out in the cat, thinking shit's sweet. And I, I ain't tell y'all, but when I went to go start the car, I see that it's raining. Pouring out. You feel me? It ain't just regular rain. And it's like Usher when he was out there singing with the radio. You know what I mean? I leave out. I drive around the corner, y'all. Literally around the corner. Go to the intersection. Where the light at? I'm waiting on my brother. As I'm waiting on my brother, I just get to messing with the car. Trying to see what all the car can do. Now, I ain't do no 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 donuts or none. You know what I mean? Because that ain't how it happened. But I'm waiting on him still. And I'm just standing, basically, I'm sitting basically in the middle of the intersection. So, next you know, I'm like, man, he taking too long. Because like another 10 minutes with pads just about. So, I take off and go back to Shorty crib. Shorty, um... She's sitting in the crib, she ain't even come out of there. But I go back to her shorty crib. I'm sitting in front of her spot. And my brother called me like, damn, where you at? I thought you said you was in the corner. I'm like, dude, bro, I just, you feel me? So I said, like, come on, bro, just pull up over here. And we drop the car off and jump in with me. Because I know I got the, the new eye body on me. And I knew niggas was going to want to jump in. You feel me? Shit like that, right? So they pull up, jump in the car with me. We leave out the little parking lot. We leave out the parking lot, I make it right. 
Now, mind you, I told y'all, you don't know, you don't know. But if you know, you know. So I pull out of the parking lot, just doing some regular pulling out. The car automatically spinning already. I should have known. I wasn't thinking of my man. Listen, look. Car, red key, 717 horsepower off rip, y'all. You feel me? And I, I wasn't thinking. This is just me just jumping in the car thinking like I've been driving it for three days. I'm straight. You feel me? No, nigga. So, I'm driving it, thinking everything cool for all the 30 seconds, y'all. I kid you not, all the 30 seconds. Now, I will say this. The only other thing I did to the car was add, uh, it's kind of like a pedal command. If you hit, you hit. If you're not, you're not. It's called a Terry Commander. So, we add that on there. And it kind of helped take away some of the delete when you drive. So I'm I'm driving or whatever. Next thing you know, the car completely take off. Like take off, bro. Like ain't no traction, no nothing. Ain't no the car completely take off and shoot to the left side of the street. Yeah, you know I mean, and I ain't know this was gonna happen, y'all. So the car just shoot off, go all the way to the left, and. I don't touch the brake because if you know and you're you're an experienced driver, you should know not to hit the brake or smash the brake because it's only going to make it worse. So I didn't hit the brake. I'm trying to catch the, the, the traction, catch the wheel. I'm swinging him back and forth trying to get the, the, the back end to stop fish tailing. I mean, not fish tailing, but like stop. Like It's at an angle. You get what I'm saying? So the car, I'm here at first, and the car shoot off, but shoot off this way. And it just shoot off at an angle. So it wasn't nothing I could really do to try and angle it back up. It wasn't doing nothing. It was just stuck on the, the streak it was going. Ended up hitting the curb and falling over and tipping on the side, man. Man, it was a, it was a traumatic night. But I'm blessed, man. Everybody in the car was blessed. Nobody walked away with uh, really a scratch. Um, you know, the insurance took care of it. So, you know, we blessed. Man, make sure y'all stay safe, stay legal. It was... That was, I mean, like I said, y'all, it was kind of just inexperience. I, I should have known not to have the car at 717 horsepower in the fucking rain. Um, it was it was late as hell. I just wasn't thinking. I had just woke up. Yeah, I mean, still had noodle legs. It just, I, I, I just wasn't there, y'all. I just wasn't there. But, so let me tell y'all about the second one, man. Because Nah, this was the one where I was like, all right, you a dumbass. And I just knew I was like, I, I, I had to... Smack myself in the forehead, but like it was, it, it was just some dumb shit. So by this time, I got my second Hellcat. I won't, <clears throat> I ain't tell y'all, but I went and got it the next week. You know what I mean? So even though I crashed the first one, I'm like, I gotta go. I was young and turned. Like I'm like, see, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I just did that to my first one. So I went to go get the second one the next week. I get that. I had that for like a month. I had my little time, y'all. I was driving for about a month, couple weeks. I had my my fun in it, you know, doing my due diligence. <laughs> no, nah, but we was chilling. Me and my lady, we was at the crib. Me and my lady, we chilling at the crib. She tell me, babe, I need my hair done. Now, nah, we up in Toledo once again, y'all. And for some odd reason, we wake up and it's snow on the ground. It wasn't that, I mean, it, it was fall. So, I mean, I guess it wasn't like it was November so or no actually it was October late October so it wasn't like we kind of couldn't expect snow to be on the ground but it just wasn't supposed to be snow on the ground so she tell me like babe I'm gonna get my hair done I'm like alright she's like babe can you take me I wanted to tell her Uber y'all but if you from the city if you know if you know it ain't, it ain't no Uber for real y'all especially when it's like something like that going on snow on the ground or something it, it, it's kind of slow so my lady not even from here, so she, you know, she really wasn't rocking with it or whatever, um, but rocking with driving. So she asked me, could I take her? So I'm like, bet, babe, I got you. We jump in the car and we had to drive at least 30 minutes, y'all. So we get 25 minutes, like, towards that direction. And <laughs> that's when the shit happened. But we driving completely, I'm talking everything good. And once again, don't get a day. 717 horsepower. No, for real though, bro. Like, how the fuck did I forget again to not add this car at seven, 717 horsepower, bro? Like, not once, but twice. So, man, I had it on 717 horsepower once again. Couldn't believe this shit. I don't know how I did it like that. 
But I go to change a lane, y'all. I go to just, that's it. That's it. My lady, I wish she was right here to even like kind of help y'all, help me explain the situation. Like I did nothing but change a lane, y'all. And the entire car fishtailed on me. The roads was dry for real. Now it wasn't snow like on the street. It was just on the ground, like on the grass. So don't, when, don't mistake me when I tell y'all like it was snow on the ground and I took this Hellcat out that it was like a blizzard. You feel me? It wasn't nothing like that, y'all. <clears throat> was a little bit of snow on the grass. <clears throat> wasn't nothing crazy and they had already sorted down the road so she had for 20 minutes while we riding out this way it's nothing but sorted roads so we get all the way out to this street and it's just a little slick part up here you feel me and i don't say nothing like we even see a, a dodge i want to say a dodge rt or something it got a, a tweaked exhaust right so it's a little louder he trying to take off because he see the hellcat you feel me he shoot off and he you feel me just trying to make a little noise or whatever and I tell my, my shorty, I'm like, babe, I ain't even about to, she like, oh, I know, I see you, you would have been took off, you would have been showed him what was up. I'm like, right, man, I'm chilling, I ain't, I ain't even know nothing, y'all, so, boom, I keep it pushing, unless you know, I'm like, oh, hold on, I gotta get over, because we finna go to the hair store before I drop her off to get her hair done. So I go to try and change lanes to get him the left side, so I can make a left, and the second I jump in the lane, I'm talking two hands, everything, y'all. As soon as I go to make the, the, the lane switch, the whole back end take off on me. I said, oh, and this time I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I, I, it happened so quick and I didn't expect it, like nothing to happen at this time. See, like the last time I kind of like seen that, like it wasn't that I, I seen it coming. It was like, I kind of, I could see the car doing something that night. So I was just like kind of prepared to try, try some. No, y'all, when I tell y'all I'm in between cars is a car, two cars in front of me, two cars behind me, and my car started fishtailing in the middle of the fucking road, y'all. Like, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I was sweating bullets. And I got my shorty in the car, so it, it was a lot going on for me, but I hurry up, I grabbed the wheel, y'all. I, I may have hit the brake, I ain't gonna lie. So I get to trying to control it. I end up catching the traction, you feel me? Because it, like I said, it wasn't a lot on the, on the road, y'all. But by the time I catch the traction, I'm headed towards a little driveway. And the driveway got nothing but grass and snow on top of that little bit of grass. So the second I run up this little driveway, the car takes straight off in this snow, y'all. And it wasn't no stopping from there. Because, like, I'm trying to smash the brake. Now that I'm out of everybody's way and shit, now that I'm, I know I'm nowhere near these cars. Because, honestly, I was so scared that I'm going to hit another car and cause a pile up. And everybody, and we all get, like, smack, smack, smack. Shit, I try to hurry up, get the wheel. By the time I catch the wheel, I'm on the grass and I can't stop. All I see is two poles. I see a pole that, damn, it ain't no example around here right now, y'all, but I see two poles. I see a, a parking pole and I see one of them poles, like uh, a gated fence, a regular gated fence to somebody like a privacy fence or something. Now the, the privacy pole, the fence of the privacy pole, it didn't have, it didn't have no fence on it. It was just the pole. Get what I'm saying? Then it was a completely cement parking light pole. And I had to choose. So which one y'all gonna choose? Um, and of course, they cemented it down. So when, when I hit that pole, all that cement came up and smacked the underbody of my Hellcat, man. So when y'all do see it, just know. When they put it right here. Yeah. That's all she wrote, you hear me? But yeah, man, that was, that's the two situations. Um, thankfully, me and my lady was all right. Uh, it was two, I wanna say, um, Air Force vehicles that we ended up sliding into. Um, man, it was, a, it was a, a situation for real, but we blessed, man, we here, we happy. Um, we still going hard, still going strong. And as y'all can see, stopping no motion you know what i mean so man i can't wait to get the first one back the second one man we is getting totaled out for that so i'm gonna try and bring some more content for y'all with swap swapping that um i want to swap it for a hellcat 300 so i mean we're gonna see man y'all just gotta stay tuned stay with me keep believing in me man because i'm trying i'm trying you feel me so Make sure y'all like, comment, share, 
send this to somebody, send this to somebody who y'all think will crash their Hellcat, send this to somebody who don't got a Hellcat, send this to somebody who want a Hellcat, you feel me? But thank y'all for watching, thank y'all for tuning in, man. Keep watching.